Hi, welcome back to ODE YouTube channel. Today I'm going to review another pen and I want I just want to ask you if you like the videos I usually do, please don't forget to subscribe the channel if you didn't already. So today we are going to show you this pen that looks almost like a Parker 51, but it is not. This pen is a Senator pen and Senator pen and Senator is a, a brand, an old brand, that is still um, in production. I think they do different stuff now. I don't think they do fountain pens anymore. And it is from Germany. I'm not really sure from when e this pen is, but I think it may be from the 50s. This Senator is quite different from all the different Senators I've seen so far. And I want to show it to you. I have a Senator President which has a big open nib. I have a Senator with a known uh, brand name that has a small nib that reminds us of the V-Series Caveco nibs. And now I got this one. So let's take a look at the outside. So as I told you, it reminds us of the Parker 51, a gold colored cap with vertical lines, now they are horizontal because the pen is laying down, but they have these vertical lines. The clip is a stray, it has this shape, it's hard to, to, to show, to describe it to you, but you can see it. It makes almost like a V and it is quite springy. And then it has this cap top with a black kind of jewel on the top. And this is very similar to a Parker uh, 51. Now, we have here, let me see if I can, it's focused now, we have a burgundy barrel, we have the M for the M nib, and Senator made in Germany. These are the engravings on the pen, no other engravings, so this is the, much I can, the most I can know about it. Uh, it has many other um, German pens from some Cavecos and some other German pens. It has a blind cap and inside the blind cap then you have the turning knob for the piston filling system. So this is a piston filler pen. And when you uncap it, you will see it has a section very similar to a Parker 51. It has a ink window because it is a um, a piston filler, the ink window is useful, not all piston filler pens have ink windows, but this is a nice thing, and it also has this kind of ring very similar to the Park 51. Then it has a hooded nib, and just let's take a look at the similarities with the Parker 51. This is not a comparison video, but I just want to show you the, I think, the similarities are quite remarkable, uh, just the clip is different from the outside, the filling system is also different, this is a, a aerometric filling, it could be a vacuumatic, so it would have also a blind cap there. When we uncap them, we can see the same kind of ring, this one is recessed on the center, this one is not, and we have the same kind of hooded nib. However, the, the way the hooded nibs are made is a little different because on the Parker 51, and let's try to focus this, the nib usually touch the tip, touches the tip of the hood or the tip of the section, as you may see. And this improves the ink flow. On the Senator, we don't see that. The nib let me try to have this on focus. The nib goes down and it is quite far away from the tip of the hood. And this is also more recessed. So when you're writing, you can't see the nib. It is hidden by the, the tip of the hood. Now, this is not to be done, I think, but I unscrewed this hood and we can see here we have a collector for the ink and then we have the nib. Let me try to put this in focus. 
I don't think. Okay, you can see there. It has the logo with the moon and the sun and 14k and 585, which is the gold content. So it is a gold nib. It is made by the Gusa, which is the, the, the logo there. And it is a German brand for nibs for fountain pens. I bought this pen quite inexpensively and it was all messed up because this was not well, the nib was, uh, it was almost like this um, and also the cap, the, this was unscrewed and the ring was loose so it made this kind of scratched ring around the cap so it was not a pretty sight. I got it, I uh, put it together, just that, cleaned it and it's ready to use. Now you can see it, it's the same color of the burgundy Parker 51 and now for size comparison we have here a Parker Centennial Default and this one is a little shorter, a little th thinner and here we have a Lamy Safari, which is also a pen that I usually show you with the pens that I'm reviewing. About the writing experience, it is the same kind of writing experience as you, that you can get with a Parker 51, exactly the same in terms of size of the pen. The pen posts, let me show you, it posts very well, so it gets comfortable and it posts almost as deep as the Parker 51. So, very similar pens, I would say this is clearly inspired on that. And I don't have any idea of the of when it was made. I would say 1950s. I don't know much about Senator pens. There are not there is not much information to be found online and usually my best source of information about Senator Pants is from the YouTuber Waski Squirrel and he has lots of Senators or some Senators and I don't think I have ever seen in his YouTube channel or any other place uh, who did need Senator Pen. I also searched through the web everywhere to see if I could find a similar pen and I cannot. So, I cannot really know about the value, the price or any other information. So if you know anything about it, please let me know in the comments below because I'm really interested and in to, uh, to have the information for myself and to have it available here on the channel for other users to see it. Now I'm going to turn the camera down and going to do the writing sample. And here we are with the pen and the paper and let's start. I will not post it because it is big enough to write like this, but you can post it, but I don't want to hit the tripod or the camera with the cap. So let's start. And the pen is a senator. I don't really know the model name. The paper is the usual Rhodia dot pad paper, which is quite nice for fountain pen reviews, and the ink inside is the Parker Quink Black. And this is an ink that I really like to use with older pens because it is, um, it is a safe ink and I'm using a, a vintage bottle that I have there, so it's, also, it's always nice to get old inks with old pens uh, going safely in them and also to be able to smell that very strong smell of the Parker Quink. So, about the writing experience with this pen. This pen has a nib that is very interesting, strange, pleasant and annoying. What I have to say, it is a nib that is smooth, it has a little bit of feedback, just a little bit, and writes extremely well. But it writes extremely well in the point I really have it now. If I change the angle just slightly, it keeps writing, but I think you can hear it. It becomes awfully scratched, scratchy, so 
it is only good in this angle like this not anymore so this is very strange I usually say the Parker 45 has the narrower sweet spot that I used to know but this one is even worse it is even narrower I didn't smooth the nib because sometimes in vintage, in, in vintage pens I like to see how they feel how they are meant to feel uh, feel like on the on the hand on paper but I, I, I really like to see how they were made and how they were meant to be made or maybe they weren't meant to be made and it was just a poor quality control I'm not sure but I'm quite interested in that so I didn't do anything to the nib yet maybe I will do it let's see what I will do with this pen or if I will keep it or not it is of my least favorite color of pens ever which is burgundy and I decided to start curating my fountain pen collection and I think the burgundy fountain pens are the first to go but if the model is quite interesting I may keep it but this is another uh, matter so about the writing experience I, w I was saying it, it has a very narrow sweet spot it writes quite well on that sweet spot however but it is very hard to find the sweet spot because you're seeing as the same angle I would be seeing when I'm writing and like this I cannot see the tip of the nib so I'm not sure if I'm hitting the right angle I have no guidance no reference points to write with this so you can see it has no skips no hard starts it's really 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 a nice nib in that sense the feed delivers very well a nice amount of ink about writing in reverse it's not really possible because you hit the tip of the hood on the paper so no writing if you want to write upside down you had to do like this and so you are not writing really upside down you are just writing in a truly vertical way so forget about the upside down writing more about the wetness of the pen you can see it is quite wet for a hooded nib and it is a fine line it's not very thick so although it says it is a medium I would um, classify it as a F as a modern European F nib so quite nice I, I, I really enjoy the thickness of the line and one very very interesting thing which is not at all common on hooded nibs is the amount of line variation and I would say some flexibility you have to press it a little hard but you can get some line variation if you don't it is just a stiff nib and I don't think you can see a lot of line variation but if you press a little harder you can definitely have some line variation which is quite nice I'm not used to have this kind of line variation in hooded nibs I have an Aurora, a vintage Aurora Duo card that has lots of uh, line variation I would say it's really a flexible pen but this is not that true flex but you can really have a nice line variation and that makes this very nice so what should I do to this pen I think the best way to go was to smooth the nib but because I didn't decide yet if I want to keep the pen or do anything else to it I didn't do anything yet to the nib and I thought it would be nice to show you the review of the pen just uh, repaired cleaned it was not uh, repaired it was just uh, all screwed back together um, cleaned and for you to see how it is as found not with uh, improvements to the nib so I hope you liked the video I have to thank you all for watching uh, I hope you liked it if you have any information about this model or if you have this same model of pen in some other color or this one or any information dates places whatever please let me know because i'm really interested to know see you next time bye